It's time for the Nebraska Football Coaches Show. Proudly brought to you by Channel. Channel Seedsman place product to perform across Nebraska. Get expert advice that yields results at channel.com. Heinrich going to step and back. Little G belly action. Has a man wide open. It's Jalen Lloyd. The throw. He makes a catch. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Back to throw his card. Being rushed. Steps, throws. Intercepted. Tommy Hill with a pick at the 30. Tommy goes down to a knee at the 29 yard line. His second INT of the game. The third of the season for number 31. Sullivan gets the snap. Back to throw. Pumps. Gets rushed. Gets hit. Throws down. Then a sack. Pulled down again by Nash, his second sack of the game, all the way back at the 30-yard line. Motion to the near side, they hand it off to Emmett Johnson. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Emmett Johnson's first career Husker rushing touchdown. It's now 30 to 14. Here's your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our football show for the week. As the Cornhuskers are getting ready to go play their final road game of the year, they're headed to Camp Randall to take on the Wisconsin Badgers on Saturday night. A little Saturday night football on NBC at 6.30. We'll begin our pregame coverage on Saturday at 2.30. As the intro said, Coach Garrett McGuire with us here tonight. We're going to talk about the wide receiving core, a very young group that guy had to grow up in a hurry, Coach, because of injuries and some guys not still with the football team. I mean, you had to throw those young guys into the fire earlier than they probably wanted to, but I think they've done a pretty nice job. Your thoughts about them? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm super pleased with uh, just how hard they're playing right now and uh, what they're doing off the field. You know, they're t- handling business in the classroom, uh, on time to everything, taking care of their body weights, you know, things that we talk about being a pro. Um, but then you look at those guys that unfortunately did get injured. They set such a high standard, whether it was – Isaiah, Marcus, or, you know, Billy, we we didn't have Billy. So they set such a high standard for those young guys to kind of watch and then meet. How nice has it been to get Billy back the last couple games? Oh, it's it's been awesome. And then these last two games with him is going to be really fun down the stretch. He just brings such a competitiveness and an edge to our room that um, especially when you are playing a a couple younger guys, it helps to have an older veteran guy. What's he been like to coach? Oh, he's awesome. Um, you know, you can do a lot of things with him. Uh, you can put a lot on his plate. Um, again, he's, he's so competitive, so he's always wanting more. He wants to be coach. He wants to be a really, really good player. Um, so that's fun to, fun to see. Well, I, I still see Marcus and Isaiah kind of hanging around the complex. Have they been able to at least offer some words of wisdom to some of these young guys? Oh, a- absolutely. Last week, you know, um, when we go to the sideline, um, they're, they're already sitting down, and Marcus and Isaiah are in their ear. Uh, just loving them up, talking to them, um, talking about just winning the rep, uh, play the next play, and, um, you know, just letting those young guys, even when you get off to sometimes a, a little slow start, just to hear those guys, you know, have your back is good. You know, Billy Kemp got hurt. I think it was the Purdue game that he got nicked up in, and Coach even said, he goes, yeah, we had a lot of, lot of stuff in the game plan for him that day. But, boy, he got himself back and ready to play in a hurry. I'm not sure you guys expected him. He went up to Michigan State, at least caught punts for you in that game, and then he ran a couple really good routes, I thought, on Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he he lived in that training room. My gosh. You know, uh, I mean, he, he's such a tough, tough person. Uh, you know, we talk about RDV, and uh, he, he's an RDV type of guy. You know, he's, he's one of us. Now, another guy that's not a young guy but hasn't played a lot, and that's Alex Bullock. And, and I know he got on your radar in the spring. You're like, man, this guy's making catches all over the place. Talk about him as a player, and, and what have you seen from him in the fall? Um, you know, I've just seen so much growth uh, in confidence um, in him as a player and then him as a person. You know, he speaks up in our room a lot, um, what he sees from, you know, watching their DBs, but also just what he sees uh, from himself and other guys. So he's kind of holding those other guys to a high standard because, you know, when we did lose those uh, three or four guys, he had to step up and kind of emerge as, yes, I'm a redshirt sophomore, but I'm also the leader of the group now. Um, and then, you know, you, you see him making plays over the middle. You saw that one versus Michigan State, um, especially bouncing back from uh, early in the year. You know, he, he didn't make that play. So you just see the growth that he's making. Um, and then again, he he's like those young guys. He's, he's playing really, really hard. How much – Coach, do you how much information do you want them to be bringing back to you? Like, do do you want that input from the guys going, hey, I think this play might be open. This guy bid on this fake that I gave him. I think I can beat him this way. Do you get that kind of reaction during games from players? 
A absolutely, absolutely. I think also from the receiver position, you kind of want those guys, want those guys that want the ball, um, that always want the ball, um, especially when, you know, it's kind of crunch time, whether it's third down or you get in the red zone. Um, you want the guys that want to go make the play um, and, and have no fear doing it. Yeah, I just wonder because some, some players are going to say they're always open. Right, so right. you kind of gotta go. Okay, you weren't open, but you might think you were. Right. So I just kind of wondered, as a coach, how much do you want that feedback as the game is going on? Right. Well, you know, luckily with Coach Sat in the box and then me on the field yeah. now, so you can kind of see, you can split the field in half and and uh, and see both sides. But then you just, when those guys come back, hey, Coach, I'm beating them on this route. I'm beating them on this. You know, it's always good to hear. Well, because they're looking in their eyes. They can kind of see maybe their eyes aren't going the right spot, and they can give you that feedback. You mentioned you and Coach Sat. You have been down on the field, up in the box, down on the field. It's been You've had to adjust a little bit during the season, haven't you? Uh, yes, sir. You know, um, being down there with those young guys, I think it's been really, really fun um, just because they are 18 years old and looking Malachi in the eyes and uh, just continuing saying, win the rep, win the rep, win the rep, go play the next play. You know, I, I think that's very important as well as uh, Jalen, you know, just kind of that same thing. And then, um, you know, this is fun. We're, we're having fun. So kind of getting to see them express themselves on the field is fun. How do you approach the game if you're up or down? Does it change? I mean, does your mentality change at all? Do you, do you have to, I mean, is, what are the differences for you as a coach, whether you're down on the field with the guys or up in the press box? Um, you can feel the energy a little bit more when you're down on the field um, versus when you're in the box. You kind of lose that. But then also just seeing the game, um, you see it a little bit different on both sides. Um, when you're up top, you kind of see, uh, you know, the whole picture versus on the bottom. You're, you end up being a little bit more focused on uh, the offense. The, you know, this, this has been such an interesting year because you've had your guys have had to get used to different quarterbacks, uh, whether it's Jeff or Heinrich or Chuba. How different is that, and do you is this maybe helpful that you go back to the spring ball and all the August practices that you probably those guys have probably repped with all three of those quarterbacks throwing on the football? A absolutely, absolutely. Um, and then also, you know, you just kind of tell the guys, hey, control what you can control. Um, you know, so just go out there, do your job, do it to the best of the ability, um, and then the quarterback's going to put the ball on you. Uh, but yes, all the reps in the bank that we have from uh, fall camp, spring ball. Uh, summer, you know, all that work they put in is kind of starting to uh, come to fruition now that you have three different guys back there. And everybody throws a little different ball. Some guys have a little tighter sp spin to it. Some guys maybe throw a little bit harder than other other quarterbacks do. So uh, I, I wondered about that because, you know, we, we had to see Chubba late in the game last week, and he threw a few passes, and I'm sure some of those guys are going, oh, I caught passes all August from Chubba because I was working with the twos or whatever, the threes, when the season began. Right, yes, sir. And then um, – you know, that, that is that is true, especially for, you know, some of those younger guys. So um, we'll see on Saturday how much it kind of ends up paying off. Coach, um, I've raved and we've had other coaches come on and have raved about how Malachi blocks and how well he has done at that. As you, as you work with these receivers, is it harder to get them to learn how to block properly or catch passes properly? Or does it just depend on the individual? More, most guys, I would guess, Coming out of high school, if they're wide receivers, are probably pretty adept at catching the ball, but maybe they weren't asked to block a lot in high school. Right. Um, you know, I, I think it kind of goes down to what I talked about a little earlier. You know, honestly, a lot of receivers don't like to block, but there is a standard of play um, when you wear that red in, um, whether that's the punter, the receiver, the quarterback, the linebacker. You know, we're going to play to a standard. Um, and then once those guys saw that and it just kind of became, you know, that's all they know. All they know is this process. All they know is – uh, Coach Rule and our staff's way. So once they saw how we're doing things and then they start to see a little bit of the success, now it becomes contagious and it, it's just who they are. It's who Malachi is now. How big of an adjustment, and you were in this stage when you when you played, is it when you're really being pressed, when you're, the, the defense is giving you press coverage and you got to try to just get away from those guys? That's got to be a kind of an eye-opening type of experience, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, especially from – you know, the levels of football, obviously being in the Big Ten, uh, a Power Five conference, you know, you have some big DBs, long DBs um, at this level. Uh, you just kind of always got to have a plan for it, um, especially when guys, you know, you're kind of getting gassed. You're like, all right, now I got to focus on where I'm lining up. What's my assignment? Oh, and now I'm getting pressed. So there's a lot of things going on in your brain uh, at that point. Well, I, I got to imagine 
when you guys are practicing. You're you're seeing good long. Tommy Hill's a pretty long guy. I mean, you're you're seeing it in practice from our own guys, aren't oh, you? Oh, that that's the that's the best thing for us, you know. Uh, as well as Coach Coop coaches those DBs, but you're going up against Tommy Hill, Quentin Newsom, Malcolm Hartsog, Isaac Gifford every day. Uh, why why should you change something on Saturday? Got a text from me for John in Omaha. It says, Coach, uh, who do you hear in your headphones? Is it only the offensive position coaches? Do you hear the head coach? Do you even hear the defense? Just curious. Uh, both uh, offense and head coach. You know, I, I think Coach Roll has an uh, unbelievable mind. Um, it's pretty impressive that he can uh, know the offensive terminology, the defensive terminology, and the special teams terminology, um, especially with all these systems not being totally his, and, and they're kind of new, especially with the verbiage. Um, so just it, it's all of us. We're always communicating in between uh, drives as to, you know, what's, what's the next call, how are we going to attack, what are we going to do here. Um, so it's all of us. And he probably has veto power, too. Oh, I would imagine. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. No one coach I've ever seen it. Folks, seatbelt use saves lives and prevents injuries. Nearly 15,000 lives saved per year. Buckle up this message from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. You know, this staff, fairly new, although a lot of you have had cross paths in the past. I don't know if you've been around EJ much before you came to Lincoln this past year. Talk to me about the meeting rooms that you guys have, because you spend a lot of time together as a staff and going over things and expressing ideas and thoughts. What's that been like for you over the last six, seven months with this particular group of guys? Uh, it, it's been unbelievable. You know, you have a lot of guys that are high-level thinkers in there, and then once you add the offensive staff and then you add Coach Rule in there, um, but it's just always all of us coming together, you know, giving our players the best chance for them to be successful on Saturdays, um, utilizing them and uh, what we see the best fit is for the team. Um, but then you just hear all the communication of, hey, maybe maybe they did this back then, maybe they did this then, or, or what can we do now? Um, again, just for our guys to have success on Saturdays. So take me to, to a Sunday. I, I'm, I'm assuming the first thing you guys do as a staff is you break down the previous game's tape, and then you pick and choose what you want to show the guys. Is that how you do it? And before you start to look ahead to – plan for the next opponent is that how that works mm -hmm. yes sir you know whether we watch it as an offensive staff or as a full staff because you know um you know there's something about the defense watching our offense and our offense watching our defense you know picking up on tells or uh, anything we can do different um so so sometimes we'll end up doing that um and then we usually get together coach usually starts it with a team meeting or and uh kind of gets the guys going a little bit um, and says his piece, and then we'll split up um, and kind of grade the tape as a position group or as a unit. When you're with just your group, the wide receivers, do you go through an entire game or do you pick and choose things you want them to see? Um, we, we try to go through the entire game, yeah. you know, just because I think, um, especially with just these guys learning our process, learning uh, how, to, how to play, you, you kind of need to watch the game in chronological order. Talk about what just happened on special teams. Talk about the field position battle. Talk about uh, what it's like to play complementary football and how that can impact a game. So I think if you can do that, I think it's very, very helpful for those guys. How how, how helpful is it for older players to kind of help show Malachi or Jalen or Jaden, here's how you have to study tape? Because I, I don't know. I'm a, I know kids maybe have huddled versions that they look at in high school and those type of things, but – it's a different level here, isn't it? How much you have to go and study what you did and what you got to do. A absolutely. And honestly, if I could brag on those guys uh, at one part, you know, those, those younger players, um, it would be the way they prepared um, in August and then earlier in the season. You know, a lot of guys uh, come in, and if you don't kind of play right, right away, they're starting to th get comfortable Check and out. like, uh, I'm red shirting. Yeah. Hey, let's get ready for spring ball. But those guys, absolutely not. They attacked every single day. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, preparing like they were starters, and then shoot, you wake up week five and you're a starter. How, how satisfying is it to you if you get like a text from a guy going, hey, coach, I noticed this or I saw this. That's got to make you smile. Well, man, it's, they're digging in. They're digging in and getting after this. Oh, uh, it, it's, it's awesome, you know, because, you know, we like guys being around the facility. We, we like football guys. We, we want to teach you um, the game to where you can go on Sundays and go play uh on sundays so when you see guys you know taking their own time and doing football i think that's a big deal
Good stuff. All right, uh, 402-413-2400, that number if you want to fire off a text for the coach. We did hear from John in Omaha just a moment ago. Keep them coming. We'll pass those along to coach throughout the hour. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. They are your trusted auto partner, 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. we got more with the coach coming up. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See shelter agent Josh Aarons in Kearney, Scott Vermas in La Vista, or Dennis Malloy in Bellevue today. Hey Husker fans, it's Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. As we get ready to celebrate 1890's one-year anniversary, I'm proud to say the 1890 Initiative now represents 150 Husker student-athletes in nine sports. And with your help, we can keep 1890 going strong, helping student-athletes get the most from their name, image, and likeness, and preparing them for life after college. Visit 1890Nebraska.com to learn more about NIL and 1890 and contribute today. Everybody wants a classic Christmas. Well, there's nothing more classic than cash. So until January 3rd, 2024, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery Holiday Classic scratch tickets online, and you could win $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, or $20,000. Hurry and jingle all the way to your nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer and have yourself a classic little Christmas with the whole family of Holiday Classic scratch tickets. Top prize odds vary by game. In 1923, Bert R. Benjamin had a vision, an all-purpose tractor that could do more. With that, the Farmall was born. This year, Case IH is celebrating 100 years of Farmall, 100 years of milestones, 100 years of innovation, passion, grit. And they're doing it through your stories. Share them at Farmall100.com. One lucky storyteller will win their own Farmall, the tractor that is the one for all. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online anytime from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. 
Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once a day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. We're back inside our Acres Broadcast Center. Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer. Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp back with our Huskers wide receivers coach, Garrett McGuire. Tonight's our football show here in hour one. Our volleyball show coming up in hour number two. Head coach John Cook will be in here in the second hour of the program. Huskers getting ready to travel to Madison, Wisconsin to take on the Badgers on Saturday night. In our YouTube chat room, the conservative Husker for you. Coach, can you describe how Heinrich throws... Is it a hard pass, and what kind of impact has that had on maybe some of the drops we've had? Um, you know, Heinrich, obviously, I think one thing about him is he's from here, so he's used to throwing in these winds and, and kind of these conditions. Um, you know, he made a statement a few weeks ago just jacking with us, like, the colder it gets, the better I throw. Um, but, no, you know, they all throw different. Um, they all have a different release point, so you kind of you see the ball longer. Um, you know, whether it's with Jeff or Heinrich or, or Chubba, whoever that may be. Um, but no, I don't know if he's really had an impact as much as it's us. Okay. Uh, a text from Andrew for you. Coach Ron Brown is more of a, I know, is more of a player support role, but I was wondering if he has any sort of involvement with the offensive staff. Have you been able to pick his brain at all and his knowledge? Absolutely. Um, you know, he, he's helped me a lot as a coach. You know, you see these guys, um, it, you know, blocking in the run game, and, and that's a lot of, uh, you know, from him. You know, he, sit, he sits in a lot of our meetings, um, vocal, and, and kind of shows us uh, how they did it, you know, how, especially with as much perimeter plays as we're doing um, because that's kind of what he's used to in the option world and stuff like that. So he's, he's helped us, and he's helped our room in a, in a big way. Andy and Phoenix, for your coach, does your room have a grading system, a chart that the wide receivers for production – and who would be grading the best so far this season? Um, yes, we, we have our own grading scale. Um, I don't know who would end up being the highest. Um, they all get graded fairly. They all get graded the same. Um, you know, they all kind of ha- – it, it ends up being week to week, um, you know, whether it's Malachi one week or Alex Bullock one week, Billy Kemp. Uh, Marcus was up there early in the year um, when, he, when he was with us. Um, so it's kind of week to week. I don't know if I could single out one guy and say it's for the year long chart. This guy has it. Right. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, Mike in Grand Island coach. Has there been any thought of bringing in some of the big boys from the defensive line to come in in short yarded situation to play running back, maybe only use them as a decoy or, or for a push? Uh, you know, I I know Ty Robinson wants that to happen, (laughs) you know, um, (laughs) no, no, you know, I think we have a a pretty good short yardage thing going on right now. Um, but again, the, the one thing about coach rule, um, is whoever we have on our roster, he's going to utilize them for us to win a game, um, and utilize them in the best way for the team. You know, whether that is, uh, Jeremiah Charles going from corner to receiver, corner to receiver, or, uh, Hey, Malcolm Hartzog, we need you as a safety, as a corner. Oh, and I need you to run down on kickoff. Uh, so, you know, we're just going to do whatever we can to uh, win a game. Speaking of that, it's a good segue into something I wanted to ask you about, and that's 17. 
mean, Ty Hahn's a young guy, walk on to the program, who early in the season seemed like about every game I would mention his name on a special teams play. And then when you started to get thin at the wide receiver spot, we started to see him out there more on the offensive side of the ball. Tell us about Ty and what he's been able to contribute. Ty brings uh, a physicality to us. Um, and then, you know, he just he plays a style of football that we want to play. You know, we want to be, uh, I've said it already, the RDV. Um, but when he's on the field, you know that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a guy that's playing hard. Um, but then also, you know, he's just got a, uh, a natural feel for the game. He's very savvy. Um, so, you know, we can we can use him in a lot of ways. And again, you know, he's a he's a very, very smart player. Um, so we can use him in all three spots and kind of move him around and, and put a lot on his plate. Uh, and he handles it. Coach Royal made a comment a few weeks ago. He said, and he, he didn't blink when he said this. He goes, I'm pretty sure we have the fastest freshman wide receivers in the country. I guess you would agree with that. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so fired up to get to coach those guys. You know, uh, there's a there's a few times on tape where, uh, you know, Jalen and Malachi are sitting next to each other running down the field. And you have you had Jaden and Jeremiah in that in that group. And you're like, well, we you know, we have some real speed um, and, and we can attack people vertically with those guys. So have you completely won the battle with Jeremiah from Coach Coop, or is that still up for debate? I, I think it's ongoing, and I think it's ongoing with a lot of my guys, actually. Yeah, I think he's always trying to plug some guys. Because he was in here earlier in the season. We had him on for his hour, and he was like, I'm, I'm going to be protective of my guys. And so I didn't, know, I didn't know if that had been settled yet with, with Jeremiah or Charles or not yet. No, sir, not yet. <laughs> That's all in fun, though, right? Oh, yeah. All good oh, yeah, fun absolutely. Hey, I, obviously, the skill sets are similar from a DB to a wide receiver, a little bit different, but you can obviously see a lot of guys that play both ways in high school, so you see them doing both of those things, and maybe they are a better fit in this offense or maybe a better fit on this defense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of them carry the same uh, athletic traits. Uh, you know, Coach Coop obviously is an unbelievable uh, talent evaluator, um, and, you know, that's stemmed and derived from Coach Rule's process and uh, and so we are going to recruit kind of DBs the same way as we recruit receivers. We want uh, big, tall, fast athletes that can change direction. Um, and so those, those traits fit the mold of playing receiver and DB. Crypto King in our YouTube chat says, ask the coach who he thinks has improved the most this year. This could get you into trouble, one of your guys, because you probably have a handful of them that you could put pinpoint. A absolutely. Um, I'll probably, you know, obviously very proud of the young guys. Um, you know, I, I'd, I'd have to say um, probably Malachi Coleman and Jalen Lloyd, you know, just the steps they've taken, um, you know, not necessarily physically. You know, I always, you know, we always thought they were physically ready to go and we always saw the flashes and everything. But uh, imagine being from Nebraska and playing uh, in, in front of the state, in front of this home crowd. And uh, not only are they playing well, they're thriving. Um, so I'm just really more proud of them as people more than players, you know, and just see, seeing that improvement. I think it's really remarkable that you've gotten what you've gotten out of them considering they weren't here in the spring. Now, Malachi came to a lot of practices. I, a lot of the practices I'd pop out there, he, there he is on the sideline during, <laughs> right. in April and, and late March. But it's different watching it and actually getting out there and being a part of it. So that even more of a credit to those kids, isn't it, to be able to do that? Absolutely. You know, and again, it's the amount of reps those guys have gotten uh, from all the way in the summer, all the work they put in uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays with Coach Campbell uh, out there on the turf, um, and then in fall camp, and then, uh, you know, just soaking up every single rep they can get, you know, whether it's standing behind a guy and mimicking the play, um, even when they're not out there on the field. Well, it's just been so fun to watch, and both of them have broke, taken the top off, Jalen and Malachi have taken the top off on a play this year, which those, that's so fun to watch. And I think you've now put it on tape, and let everybody else in the conference know we got guys that can beat you deep. That's a big, that's a big advantage. Uh, it's, a, it's a big advantage, especially with how, how well we're running the football. You know, so you, you have to play us a little differently when those guys are out there. No doubt. Dale, for you on our text line, Coach, even an average fan like me can see and appreciate that Malachi blocks like a beast. Does he model his style off of any particular NFL player? Um, Probably, you know, I was messing with him the other day about DK Metcalf, but, you know, I think he likes Calvin Johnson a lot. Obviously, they're both physical frame. Um, but, again, you watch, you watch Malachi block, um, just the effort he plays with, um, play after play. Um, you know, and he, he plays the way we want to play, physical, plays with hat and hands. Um, and then what's awesome about him doing it 
is then you'll start to see Jalen Lloyd wants to do it a lot, and then Jaden Doss wants to do it, and then Billy's like, oh, wait, I'm, I don't want to be left out either. So now Billy's doing it. So Malachi's created this culture in this room of uh, it's contagious to block and play at a high level. It's amazing you said DK Metcalf because that was the name of the spot. He doesn't know Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson's been out of the league for a couple of years, right? Malachi wouldn't know that. <laughs> no doubt. I don't know where he pulled that one out of. <laughs> Come on. Unless he can prove to me he's watching YouTube video of Calvin Johnson. I'm, I'm calling BS on that from Malachi. <laughs> right. uh, hey, folks, Dorothy Lynch, Homestyle, Light and Lean Dressing, Endless Flavor Abilities. Time now for our Alumni Hall Husker Alumni Wide Receiver Coach. We have to talk about a former Husker wide receiver. We'll go back to 2014. A guy with a great head of hair made this play. Play action fake going deep. Downfield as a man out there. The pass is caught. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Kenny Bell from Tommy Armstrong. Oh, the great Kenny Bell with a big play against the Fighting Illini from our own Tommy Armstrong, who you'll hear on Big Red Reaction again on Saturday night. Kenny Bell, one of the most popular Huskers of all time. Well, if you're looking for gifts for the ultimate Husker fans on your list, your one-stop shop is Alumni Hall. Find Alumni Hall in downtown Lincoln, the South Point Pavilion, or shop online at alumnihall.com. Happy holidays and go Huskers from your friends at Alumni Hall. Need to slip a break in. Still keep those texts coming, 402-413-2400. We're back with more with the coach coming up. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid mineral with protein or Sweet Pro block supplements for space feeding while also stretching your forages up to 25% better, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. TNL Irrigation Company knows their way around a field and across it into the corners. And even through storms, TNL engineers are constantly working on solutions producers need, like the new Gooseneck Cradle Corner System Attachment. It greatly improves corner span stability to tackle steep terrain and stand up to high winds. If you're looking to upgrade your corner system or add on new, call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com to learn more. TNL, like no other. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at new N-O-R-D-I-C-U-S-A.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyset Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! At Citadel and Chevrolet, we prioritize our customers and promise an honest experience from start to finish. Visit us in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo and experience for yourself why we are Nebraska's number one volume Chevy dealer. And as your Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Visit SidDillonChevy.com. Chevy, find new roads. You are what drives us. Dylan. What's colder than the coldest? A polar bear. I have reports of polar bear on the loops. Man, is it cold enough for a polar bear in here? Yes, we use SOS. Come on in. SOS to the rescue! Nebraska defense lineman Nash Hubbard here. People know me as the polar bear, and when I want to stay cool, I call SOS. The techs don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than the competition. Guaranteed. Mention the polar bear and get a free 10-year labor warranty on New York equipment. The best warranty you have. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Maintain, maintain your herd's condition throughout the winter with Central Valley Ag's Power Cow Tubs. Register to win a two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com Central Valley Ag. They are the official co-op of Husker Nation. It's our football show for the week. The wide receivers coach, Garrett McGuire, with us until the top of the hour. Our text line wide open for you, 402-413-2400. A text coach wants to know, what happened on the last play for the offense in the game against Maryland? What was supposed to happen? What went wrong on the route? Um, you know, I would have liked uh, Billy to get a little bit of better release. Um, and, you know, we're going to try to aim for the back pylon there. Um, you know, so just kind of poor execution right there. Um, but then also we'd like to put our, our quarterback in a, a better situation, um, you know, right there. I, I'm sure uh, Coach Sack and Coach Rule, obviously we were all our uh, just thinking about that decision, what could you have done better? As you're always kind of analyzing, uh, it's easy to analyze players, uh, but you got to analyze yourself as a coach. Was I putting myself or putting our player in the right position? Um, you know, so obviously just execution on kind of all levels. I, I think some of the fans, the debate was right after the game, was it intended for Malachi or was it intended for Billy? And coach said on Monday, it, it was intended for Billy. It was, it was a play to go to Billy. Yeah. So, but some fans, and it looked like Malachi maybe had a chance to go just run on through and grab that pass. But new quarterback, third string quarterback, I don't know how many reps Chubba had last week with the ones and twos, probably not a lot because they probably mostly went to Heinrich and Jeff. So, I, was, I thought Chubba did a terrific job leading that drive down the field and give, giving you a chance to win the game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I thought, um, you know, I don't want to speak out of place being the receiver's coach, but I thought he just competed his tail off. Did. You know, and that's all we ask our guys to do is just go play hard, go go be competitive, and 
and he, he brought a little bit of juice out there. Um, you know, you saw him not run out of bounds a few times, um, and, and I thought that was big for our football team. Very good. Hey, contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. I haven't asked you a bit yet about Wisconsin. Let's turn the page to the Badgers this week. What What's your film study turned up on what kind of defense you're going to see? Mm-hmm. I think obviously very disciplined, uh, like most most teams in this league. Uh, big up front, strong. Um, and then they have those two linebackers, uh, 55 and 54, really good football players. Um, I think in the secondary, um, you know, their corners are athletic. Um, you know, they they got some speedy guys at corner. Um, number 24, you know, they kind of move him around, uh, play him in some different roles. Um, and he's, I, th- I think he's a, a captain and, you know, he's he's a big time player for them. Uh, but, you know, you just see him, they're, they're forcing some turnovers in the secondary. I think they have 10 interceptions and number two, number two has five of them. Um, so, you know, they're going to challenge us um, in, the, in the back end, especially. Are they a big blitz team? Um, you know, they, they've shown it. Um, every team, you know, plays us a little different than what they've shown on tape because of, you know, we're running the option. Right. So obviously you have to defend that a little bit more uh, as well as, you know, we're running our quarterback at a high level. So, you know, in the run game, we think we have an extra hat. Uh, they need to find a way to uh, balance that out. Very good. You know, uh, I'm not sure many of the guys in your room, maybe have any of them, did any of them play kind of on an option-based offense at all in a high school? I don't, maybe didn't. I mean, that's kind of a dying breed. <laughs> no, I don't think any of them did. You know, uh, uh, all of them have played, um, you know, different positions, you know, whether it was Malachi playing a little bit of defense, yeah. Jaden playing some running back, Jalen played a little, a little corner. Uh, Jalen also likes to brag that he was a quarterback at Omaha Central a few <laughs> few years ago. So, uh, no, it's a, it's a different style of offense, um, and, and they're, you know, thriving in it, honestly. And for you, for a coach, it's kind of broadened your base of football knowledge, probably to learn how to coach some of this stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we t- uh, someone asked about Coach Brown and just how beneficial he's been to uh, not only me but our entire offensive staff um, in, in this kind of new new offense we're, we're working with. Coach Rule has made no bones about it. He loves road games. As a competitor, as a player in your playing days, how much did you en- enjoy going on the road and maybe just hushing up a crowd? Oh, my gosh. It was uh, – I, I love the environment. I love, you know, we bringing 74 guys on the road, yep. um, and it's all about us. You know, Coach has said that all week. He's he said that since the first day we got here. Um, it, it's not about them. It's not about anything other than it's about us. It's about how hard we play. It's about us executing. Uh, and honestly, those 74 guys, uh, they were there when we had 6 a.m. mat drills. They were there when we ran stadiums uh, with Coach Campbell. Um, and so it, it's literally, it's, it's those guys. It's all about us. A text came in, said, how, how do you guys, how will you approach Thanksgiving week? Will the guys get some turkey next week at all? Yes, they'll they'll find a way. Obviously, with a with a short turnaround, um, you know. But we'll, coach is usually really really good uh, about finding a way for them to either, uh, if they're local, find a way to go see your families for a few hours, um, and then come back. Um, and then ob- obviously, I think uh, Miss Kristen will will find a way to get everyone f- fed. It's going to be a race for you and the rest of the staff once that Iowa game gets put to bed because the recruiting period opens back up. You get a chance to go back out and travel. December has certainly turned into a crazy month in college football because of the portal. It's really different, isn't it? Even just from three or four years ago when you all, this whole staff was at Baylor, it's night and day difference now with that portal. Yes, sir. It's a lot different. Um, you know, coach, coach says it a lot. Uh, we want to develop our guys. So we'd like to uh, recruit high schools as much as possible, high school kids, uh, so that you can build something that lasts. Um, not something that you know, you have to go and, and, and find more kids year year after year. We want to build something that lasts, and we think we can do that here. Gavin in the chat room just wants to get your thoughts about how practice has been this week. Oh, I think I think it's been awesome. You know, I honestly, uh, probably one of our better practices of the year. Um, you know, there was just a flow. There was, you know, especially it being week, week 11, you'd think these guys would start to, you know, uh, slow down or kind of get bored with the process. But, no, I think they're attacking it. Um, I think that's – you know, one thing that our, our football team does best is uh, just the day-in, day-in uh, process. And uh, I think we've had a really good week on both sides of the ball. It's been a constant theme from not only you, but from really the entire staff from when you got here about the attitude and work ethic of this football team. And that's not 
That's not the same everywhere, but it seems like you guys, for the most part, have been happy with the way this group has put their work hat on and gone after it. Yes, sir. Um, I, I think it's just a hung, hungry group, hungry group. Um, and then, you know, you, you bought into uh, Coach Rule's process, especially with some of these young guys. Again, it's all they know. Uh, but then once you start to uh, see, you know, the benefits of the process, you start to see the success you're having, uh, that's when you really, really start to dive in and own it. 402-413-2400. Keep the text coming. We've got a few more minutes left with the coach. Our Woodhouse Auto family is your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back with our final segment with the coach next. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperatives relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, Acres Solutions for every field. A few minutes left with the coach, Garrett McGuire, with us tonight. Huskers will be in Madison Saturday night, 6.30 kickoff against the Badgers. Our pregame coverage will begin at 2.30 on Saturday afternoon with Husker game day. Bruce down in Colby, Kansas for you, Coach. Can you talk about what it has been like for you to work for Coach Rural, what is something that maybe you've learned that you will take on to the future from the coach? Well, that could be a lengthy, lengthy list. It could, it could, that will be a lengthy list. Uh, I said it in August. Um, this is the most fun I've ever had in my life, being around Coach Rural and Coach Sat, um, and obviously the rest of the whole staff, but just those two guys in particular. You know, we're all uh, a lot alike. Um, all three of us are coaches' kids. You know, we're all – kind of usually fighting each other, you know. Uh, but the the one thing 
uh, I'll take from coach is just uh, accountability. Um, you know, he, he holds everybody to the same standard, everyone in the building, um, everyone in the building affects winning, um, you know, whether player, personnel department, um, any any role, um, you know, you, you're going to be held accountable and uh, and held to a standard. Shane in our chat room just wants to know how often you compare notes with your dad. Oh, uh, you know, we 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 kind of go back and forth. Uh, he tries to call me every night. Sometimes I don't get him, but usually we're on the phone three or four nights of the week. Um, we just talk it, talking about the opponent, uh, talking about how each other's practices went. Obviously, being in different conference, it's a it's a totally different style of game. So it's not as much X's and O's, but uh, we both watch each other every every Saturday, whether. Uh, you know, we record each other's games. So usually we have pretty lengthy texts or calls about hey, what you could have done better. But uh, <laughs> either way, you know, we're, we're always in contact. Well, for those that maybe don't know, uh, Garrett's dad is the head coach at Texas Tech. You said different conferences, different style. Is there a real difference in the style of play between the Big Ten and now that you're going through it for the first time in the Big 12? Uh, a- absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Just the, the physicality. Um, in which his conference plays with and, and in the style of football. Um, you know, I, I don't know what, you know, really determines that factor, whether it's uh, the types of kids you're recruiting. Um, but then I, I do know that weather plays a, a big factor, you know, in, uh, in the difference of style of uh, offenses, especially in the Big Ten and Big 12. Yeah. I'm going to get in a quick count. We have about two minutes left. You and I were talking off air about the, the great rule in college football about the four games you can still hold the red shirt and not. How do you approach a guy, and you've had to deal with this with Jaden and Jalen and, and Malachi, about whether you want to go on beyond that or save their red shirt? Take me through those conversations. Is it you and sitting down with the players, Coach Rule involved? How's all that work? Yes, sir. Well, you know, Coach Rule runs our roster. Uh, he does an unbelievable job with roster management. Um, so it's really us three having the conversations. Um, but all three of those guys would do anything in their power for this team. If that means Jaden... Uh, burns it over one play, he would do it. But uh, it's our job, it's Coach Rule's job, it's my job to put Jaden and his future first. So if that means, hey, we need you to you know, play these next two, three games, or, hey, four games, you're done, uh, we, we want to think in the future for you. Um, sometimes they're hard, um, sometimes they're really, really easy because guys get it, um, especially when you have a previous relationship uh, with the kid like Coach Rule has with Jaden and Jalen and Malachi. Who who are we missing? Who who have I not brought up that's maybe redshirting in your room this year? We talked about J- Jeremiah Charles. Uh, you've got some other freshmen that are probably going to redshirt in that room, right? Or not uh, play this year? Yes, sir. Um, Demetrius Bell. Okay. You know, very 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 proud of him. Um, I don't Young know. Man from Tennessee, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. He, you know, he's just again he's he's shown up on time. He's taking care of business in the classroom. Uh, He's doing excellent on the football field, uh, doing great with his body weight and doing great with Coach Campbell in the weight room Um, and what's going to set him up for a very, very good spring and then hopefully uh, a very, very good 2024 season. Hopefully some bowl practices. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Right, Coach? Yes, sir. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Best of luck Saturday night. Got a good feeling about this one. I know it's going to be a battle. All these games of the Big Ten are pretty much battles. We appreciate you coming in. Great job so far with this team, and let's go get a win. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you. Gary McGuire with us here on our football coaches show here tonight, Huskers and the Badgers from uh, Camp Randall. We play for the Freedom Trophy on Saturday night. We've got our volleyball show. Head coach John Cook will be here. John Banner will take you through the next hour. All that's coming up next. Don't go away. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. 
driving experience at Woodhouse Buick GMC. Receive up to $2,250 off MSRP on the 2023 Buick Envision Preferred or shop the 2023 Buick Enclave Avenir and save up to $3,000 off MSRP. Shop our current inventory online anytime at woodhousebuickgmc.com. Woodhouse Buick GMC, we are professional grade. With approved credit, must have 2009 or newer trade in to qualify. $299 dock fee to its signing. Offer expires November 30th, 2023. See dealer for details. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative.
It's time for the Nebraska Volleyball Coaches Show. Alongside head coach John Cook. Ooh, jump serve by McKenna Wooker. Good pass. Long shoots it. Big Alec. Kaboom. Waking babies all over North Bottoms. 13 11 Hustlers. Free ball by the libero. And the near kill until Lexi Rodriguez saved it. Unreal. Lexi Rodriguez kept it alive. It's 19 9. They're on their feet in Lincoln. Liz Grigorski, former Wisconsin Badger, line drive serve, good pass. Rodriguez the slide. Wow! Andy Jackson! Kaboom! And that draws some oohs and odds. 6 5 Nebraska. Bump set left. Sarah Franklin for Wisconsin. Great up by Harper. She's playing great defense. Jack back right side. Merritt needs it. She gives it! Survival Saturday. Nebraska staying alive. It's 11 10. Could this be the match? And here's the call. Net violation return. Nebraska defeats Wisconsin. They did it. Call the grandkids. Nebraska takes down mighty Wisconsin. Here's your host, John Baylor, on the Huskers Radio Network. Greetings, Nebraska. Hello. Happy Thursday. Oh, those happy mems. Uh, that was a good time. That Wisconsin match, one of the great all-time regular season matches in Nebraska volleyball history. But, hey, the future perhaps has a Big Ten championship in it for the Huskers. It would be volleyball title number four in the Big Ten, 2011, 2016, 2017. But a lot of wood to chop. Michigan, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. start. It's a late start for the Huskers tomorrow night. 8 p.m. tomorrow evening, uh, Michigan. And then at Iowa, 2 o'clock on Sunday. Sunday at matinee, late brunch with the Big Red on Sunday. And then the rematch at number 2, Wisconsin, on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. And the final regular season match will be at Minnesota on Saturday, the 25th. Four to go. And then the postseason. Three weeks. Whoever goes 6-0 and can start clearing off some shelf space. I'm John Baylor. Here's the head coach of Nebraska Volleyball with a snappy new Adidas jacket. Looks like a flight jacket. John Cook, good evening. It is a flight jacket. I, nice. This is what we got to go to Brazil. And you got to wear that? Oh, down? yeah. And we all got these, JB, when you went to Brazil. Sweet. So those who didn't go to Brazil yeah. don't, don't have them. That's right. Nice. That stands <laughs> to reason. They look very sharp. Yeah. How's this? Uh, good to see you. How's this a week of practice been? Well, JB, uh, first of all, I, I keep reminiscing about being down the Haymarket these nice nights. Oh, boy. You know, I'm gorgeous. walking across campus, I really didn't see anybody. Did you see the tennis courts had lights and there were some guys playing? Play? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're playing beach volleyball out right now by the dorms. And nice. That's so, always fun. I like it when they keep their shirts on, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's beautiful out. It's hard, oh. to, it's hard, to, hard to imagine. Climate, and, climate change has a silver yeah, lining. Yeah, but it's going to switch. So No. I think the weather's changing here. Oh, it's going to make a big change. So, not being a polar bear, I kind of like a little global warming yeah, now. I like I like to listen to the weather guys. You know, when you nice. can live in Nebraska, yeah, it's fun to listen to the weather guys. And what I love about Nebraska is, you know, it can be 70 degrees here, and it might be 30 in Shadron. You know, but you know it's coming this way. It's just like our, our the temperature variations in our state are in crazy. Yeah. There are a lot of days you wish yeah. it was blowing west. Yeah. Not coming yeah. east. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, Huskers, uh, we tuned some things up and prepared for Michigan and uh, had a, you know, pretty sharp practice today. And I think there's a lot of excitement and, you know, so it's our last regular season match. Senior and, night. And my, there's no senior night, but... But it's Senior Citizen Night. So That's what I'm, I'm calling it the Senior Citizen Night. You're honoring seniors. So, like, <laughs> yeah. anyone who's an inhabitant of an assisted living home, stand up and come on down. That's right. Well, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I am in all my interviews this week. I'm like, we got no seniors, but we got senior citizens. Nice. So, And they're huge Husker volleyball fans. I'll, I'll give them a salute. That's awesome. So is there anything special we're doing for the senior citizens in attendance tomorrow? No. no. Just, we, we should have come up with something. There's still time. Rally fat, you know, rally towels or I don't know. But you got to show your ID. I don't want anyone yeah, pretending like, right. even, you know. That's right. Like my dad used to get senior citizen discounts. I'm like, Dad, you're not 70 yet. Yeah, I, I could see the student section getting all over that, trying to sneak in there to be senior citizens. Whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've been asking. We need to get out the more red cowboy hats. Those things were a hit. I'm, I'm getting bombarded. Do you have any more of those red cowboy hats? It was just hats? a one-night deal. One-night one deal, deal, yeah. 
They beat Wisconsin, they retire the hats. It's like, buddy, yeah. the hats might have helped. But I hear they might come back for another sport. I don't know if it's a winter or spring sport. The Iowa football game might need them. Me, me, yeah, maybe that's it. That I don't know. Help. I've heard I've heard rumors. It was a big hit. All right. Well, when you put it on, it suddenly became this big. Yeah, well, before, that was pretty cool. Students love it. and nice. like Everybody wants one. Nice. And you don't have to worry about your hair. Yeah. I mean, a hat kind of covers you all up, and you're yeah. like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, and it's got the... I can't remember what they call it, but the chin strap thing that... Uh, they have chin straps? Yeah, it goes underneath. And I asked, well, what's that for? And it's for the wind. <laughs> hey, so you can wear it outside in the yeah. wind, yeah. Indoor, outdoor, you're yeah. all set. Yeah, I love it. So we'll see if these come back. But we have been encouraging on the uh, the fans to bring STM signs. Just as a reminder. Set the middle. For Bergen, <laughs> set the middle. Oh, Bergen will set the middle. We got even, a pass. <laughs> even without the sign? Yeah, I'm we with you. We got a pass, yeah. It couldn't hurt. Just just hold yeah. them up, you know, and the other team can't decode it. They don't know what's yeah. going on. Oh, just... no, yeah, no. Well, I, I don't know. It's, we're playing Michigan, you know. It's the sister rematch. They, Michigan knows how to get, get a hold of signs, you know, yeah. so. <laughs> good, good point. Good so, point. <laughs> so we, we have to code it. Yeah. But tomorrow night, students, when you bring a sign, make sure one of them says, Michigan stole my other sign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're glad you said that, that's not me. That's a good joke. <laughs> that's all. I, don't, I get edgy on the show, but hopefully I didn't. Anyway, uh, you got away from the middle a little bit in the Northwestern match uh, for a while. I can't even remember the Northwestern match. When, when did we play that? We played it last week. Yeah, I don't, remember, and I don't remember. All I know is we had Illinois, both middle set over 500, I think, so close to 500. Yeah. So. I think Andy hit 800. So what, are you, what are you complaining about? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Well, I'm looking at the performance of Becca Alec. She's got to be your player of the week this week. <clears throat> Becca, 23 kills, five errors, and 35 swings. She had 23 kills and 35 swings. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And 12 blocks. Uh, and um, I just have a sense that, you know, maybe she's responding a little bit to some of the time off she had earlier this year. Oh, it's Becca, Becca who works really, really mm -hmm. hard, wants to be great. I just had dinner with her and her brother. Her and her brother hang out, training table. Yosiah. Yeah, he's Computer awesome. Computer science major. He's awesome. Yeah, so, he's both are so impressive. They're so easy to find in the training table. Because? The hair. <laughs> <laughs> the hair. The wild hair. So. She's really poised. One of the moments <clears throat> I'll never forget, freshman, Becca Alec at Northwestern, set five, going down to the wire, could go either way. Suddenly their setter injured, down for 15, 20 minutes, stretcher comes out, finally stretcher leaves. Northwestern's not the same afterwards, clearly Huskers take over and, and win the fifth set. Afterwards, shake hands and Becca, freshman Becca Alec, grabs the Huskers and spontaneously goes under the net, circle with the Northwestern players and Becca Alec leads a prayer. Yeah, awesome. You have a lot of leaders. A Nebraska girl. I grew up in Lincoln. Yeah. Went to Waverly. That, she's a she's a pretty impressive. Started in North Star, then went to Waverly. Nice. They moved to Waverly. So, uh, yeah, she's she's uh, full full of uh, <clears throat> she has a lot of spirit. <clears throat> Who are the I've leaders? taken her horseback riding too. She's she, a yeah, it's equestrian really, too. No, Western. Western. Okay. I'm <clears throat> taking her out to where we where we rope and she ride some horses. If the horses are a little too Amped up for her, she doesn't like it. Good. <laughs> so we got to find calm horses for her because she, she gets amped up, as you know. So we, so calm horses, but yeah, she loves riding horses. And um, I'm thinking only calm horses until players' eligibility <laughs> is over. <laughs> so, all right. So let's. Uh, what, the practice this week's gone gone pretty well. Allie Batenhorst. I mean, Allie Batenhorst has come in and played eight <clears> consecutive <throat> matches, and she's just like a fine wine, getting better with time. The number she put up last weekend, that's what you're looking for from a second outside. Absolutely. We we want to be five people that can that hurt you, can hurt you. And uh, so you can't gang up on anybody and have a balance attack. That's that's the one great thing about you. If you're talking stats, you know, if you look at uh, last week, I mean, we had four. You know, I think we had four or five players all in double-digit kills, and that's uh, <clears throat> you know the uh, that's a great sign of an, a balanced offense and a setter who under, has, has a feel of you know getting everybody involved. Bergen just slings it. Is she one of the least predictable 
uh, most difficult to read setters uh, you've, you've, you've been around? Yeah, she's, she's, she's working on it, being deceptive, but um, uh, the most important things, you know, set a, set a good ball, but she is, she can hold middles and, and juke them a little bit. Uh, but again, it's, it's, all, it's all, you know, you got to pass the ball to do that. If she's running all over the place, it, you know, no matter what you do. But uh, if we pass the ball good, she's, she's hard to read. When you work with setters in practice, <clears throat> how much time do you spend helping them disguise their intent with the upcoming set? No, we don't. Not at all. So no. if, they, if they naturally sort of bend back on a back set, you, you, don't, you, you don't try to fix it. Because when you see that in an opposing setter, your defense knows what's coming. Yeah, yeah. We try to be neutral. So if you're just neutral, um, you're not giving anything away. And is, can you hold it longer? Like, is there a... She does sometimes. Okay. Yeah. But I hear from volleyball people, I mean, former high school volleyball players, maybe even small college players, setters, who really know the game, and they say, she's really special, the stuff right. she can do. I was just hearing recently, like, she, uh, I hope I noticed this myself, but anyway, this was told to me that her wrists are really strong. Like, she can send it from back right over to front left with just wrist action and fast. Yeah. Yep, she's, 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 she's a really good athlete. I mean, she played, you know, played basketball, played club volleyball, and um, I don't know if she ran track, but, uh, you know, she's just, she's just a good athlete. I'm glad her older sister plays setter. Yeah. As I said, if your older sister was an outside hitter, would you have been an outside hitter? Oh, yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. Got to make sure there's an older sister. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great story. Any chance we play South Dakota next year? We we have, you know, I, I got to call them probably. And we talked about it last spring, and, you know, we'll see. We'll see. 402-413-2400. 402-413-2400. That's the head coach of New Basketball. Number one in the country, 25-0, and 16-0 in the conference. Final two weeks ahead. The opponent tomorrow night, Michigan, 7-18, and 5-11 and and a brand new head coach, former national team assistant coach, well, I should say current national team assistant coach, Aaron Virtue. This one brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family, your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online, woodhouse.com. And Acres, the Midwest premier, John Deere dealer, Acres Solutions, for every field, more with the head coach. This is your Nebraska Volleyball Show after you hear this. Move through the world in a legendary SUV from Woodhouse Cadillac. Lease a 2024 Cadillac Lyric Sport for $875 a month for 36 months, 10,000 miles per year. Be iconic and find your next luxury vehicle in store or online anytime at woodhousecadillac.com. With approved credit, $3,000 down plus first payment and $299 dock fee due at signing. $7,500 EV tax credit applied to lease. Offer expires 11-30-2023. See dealer for details. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. 
Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperatives relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See shelter agent Travis Hawkins, Scottsbluff, Jim Mowinkle and Gretna, or Matthew Musselman in North Platte. Hey, Husker fans, it's Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. As we get ready to celebrate 1890's one-year anniversary, I'm proud to say the 1890 Initiative now represents 150 Husker student-athletes in nine sports. And with your help, we can keep 1890 going strong, helping student-athletes get the most from their name, image, and likeness, and preparing them for life after college. Visit 1890Nebraska.com to learn more about NIL and 1890 and contribute today. Hi, I'm a volleyball It's an okay life. I go back and forth about it. But I really wish I was a Nebraska Lottery Powerball or Mega Millions Mega Ball. See, all they have to do is mix around in a big plastic bubble and roll down a ramp, and then people win millions. What a great life. As for me, I get thrown around all day and have to worry about getting spiked, which is about to happen right now. Oh, ow! Couldn't you just do a nice, gentle tip? The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. In 1923, Bert R. Benjamin had a vision, an all-purpose tractor that could do more. With that, the Farmall was born. This year, Case IH is celebrating 100 years of Farmall, 100 years of milestones, 100 years of innovation, passion, grit. And they're doing it through your stories. Share them at Farmall100.com. One lucky storyteller will win their own Farmall, the tractor that is the one for all. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. Welcome back to your Nebraska Volleyball Show. Normally Thursday, 6 until 7, slight adjustment this week, 7 until 8, 402-413-2400. I'm John Baylor. There's the head coach, 25-0, 16-0 in the conference. We go to the Tex. Coach Cook, this is from Bill and Thurston. Thurston, Nebraska. Where's Thurston? I don't know. I gotta get, we, gotta, we need a map. They, they got rope in there or what? There's they got to be something in Thurston. Got, there's a lot going on in Thurston. Cattle there? And not a lot of stoplights. Sounds like a western Nebraska town. It does sound like a sweet Nebraska town. We just don't know where. We'll figure it out. If the opposing team is constantly hitting high hands, would the Huskers ever go up for a block, then pull their hands down at the last second? Yes. We were trying to do that against Illinois and just couldn't get it done. 
Uh, so yes, that's so something. So you put the hands up and they couldn't pull them out in yeah, time. Yeah, we do it in practice a lot. It's uh, it's just harder in the games because they're so ramped up. But yes, we if we played Illinois again, we would be working on that. Might Illinois got really work on it hard. Yeah, Illinois got a big win last night against Ohio State. Huge they, win. And we won eight out of their last ten. That was that was a tough match uh, the other night. Emily Londot for Ohio State did that against Maddie Kubik. Yeah, a few times it yeah. worked. She yeah. pulled her hands down, and yep. Kubik was Maddie was trying to hit yeah. off hand out of bounds. I know, I know. It's, it's tough to. It's teach. a great play. The 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 boys do it all the time. Oh. The men the men know how to do it. Uh, it's just, you know, it's 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 a hard play to do. But after playing Illinois, we would be something we would train a little bit because they were they were definitely going off our hands. We just learned something about Thurston, coach. They got really smart volleyball. Fans yeah, out there, they, right, know, they right, know their yeah, stuff. He's yeah. like at practice. Yeah, Coach Cook, can you explain how the substitution of the middles works? It looks like Andy subs in for Becca. How do they stay in the front row? Uh, how, do, how do the substitutions for the middles? Work? Well, okay, so they they so they they play three rotations in the front row: left front, middle front, right front. Of course, they can switch and always go in the middle. That's why we call them middle blockers. And then, in our system, they would sub out. Uh, so, uh, Lexi though, as libero, which means free player can serve for Becca. So she goes back row for Becca. And then when Andy comes out, that's typically where we'll put in a serving sub. Uh, Andy could serve and I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction down the road. She will serve at some point. She's got a wicked serve. Andy Jackson's going to start serving. Maybe not this year, but next year. Okay. I mean, we're, we're going to develop point. her serve. She okay. has a great serve. Because that, that high yeah, touch. Yeah, it is it's dirty. Interesting. So, uh, but we got to teach her how to play defense. And that's what we're working on, and we'll continue to develop that in beach. Uh, so, um, so anyway, somebody will sub in for her, which is... Uh, um, Kennedy, usually. Yes, Kennedy comes in, or uh, Maisie, and... Um, so then that's when, so, so they, they play three positions and then the next one plays three positions. So we have six total rotations and that's how it works. So it looks like the middles are subbing for each other. Yeah. But they're, but, they're technically not because yeah. of libero. It's the old days. Yes. It yes. was the middle would come in and well, you know, like Jenny crop played all the way around. So we never subbed her out, but we'd sub in Lindsay, Lindsay Wishmeyer would sub in for whoever our other middle was Amber Holmquist. Nice. And play back row. So uh, Libero's kind of changed it and made it, again, it's way smoother, faster. They just kind of run in, run out. And uh, that's why they call it Libero, because it's a free free position. Free Tor player. Tori from Norfolk. Uh, uh, that's not a question, but a thank you for those kind wishes, Tori. How important is the offseason for the players to train and recover? Do you have plans in place for each player for the offseason? Oh, yeah. We have a super customized program for each player what they need to work on uh, brian committed our strength coach runs all that uh, but basically you know once our season's over they'll have about a month off and then they're going the next 11 months so and there's different phases of it whether it's strength or speed where they're you know they're just every and every player is different so we don't treat every player the same and and brian uh, and even by position, it changes a little bit. So Libero's kind of on a different program than the middle blockers, for example. So, but everybody's got stuff they work on, uh, and they, every day they, they have individual programs we call prehab, which is before they go to practice, they have stuff they're working on. They're, they lift three mornings a week. So they have, I mean, some of it's the same, but some of it is, like I said, by position or by individual. And... Um, so, yes, but it's pretty much they're on an 11-month program. And that month off is second half of December, first half of January. Yep, because we don't start school till you know, the 20th of mm -hmm. January, so they, they get about a month off. So they can eat chips, whatever ice they cream, want, whatever, whatever they want. want. For one month, yeah. that's it? Yep. So you don't have any plan for them for that one month? Nope, we turn them loose, see ya. They've earned it. Big Ten championship, you've said in the past, tougher to win than a national championship. You still stand by that? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're consistent. It's, it's you know, 10 weeks. I mean, look, look at some of the, you know, you got to play back to back. You're on the road. It's, uh, you play, you know, uh, Wednesday, you know, Saturday, you play Friday, Sunday. Um, 
you know, you got late matches, you got early matches. It's just, uh, it's kind of. It's a grind. It is a grind. And, uh, and you got to be able to do it, you know, on the road and at home. You get 10 at home, 10 on the road. And, and, you know, the other thing is, uh, John, you know, you know, we've played regionals, and if the host team gets knocked out, mm -hmm. you know, there's, it's, it's basically just your fans there. Look at the play. We're playing in sold-out arenas everywhere we go. I mean, Iowa Sunday sold out. Amazing. So it's, you know, you're, you're playing, you know, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 people on the road, and then, of course, we get to play from a big crowd at home, but... I mean, you may, you may or may not do that in the NCAA tournament. I just figured Sunday, Caitlin Clark was in the building. Nope. Yeah. Nebraska volleyball. Yes, yeah, Nebraska volleyball. Um, if you couldn't vote for yourself, who's your conference coach of the year? I'm thinking Steve Aird, Indiana, 18-11, 8-8. He's on the bubble right now. Big wins, Purdue and Illinois. Or Michigan State, Leah Johnson, 16-11. 8-8 eight eight in the conference, wins over North Carolina and Penn State. Yeah, what, uh, what's Illinois? Wow. You think Chris? They won eight out of their last ten. Chris Thomas should be in that conference. I didn't even do the research, but yeah. they're on the bubble. You're a great point. They're, they're ahead of, where are they in the standings? I left my laptop in the car. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, I, I thought Indiana, but they've kind of had a free fall here lately. Yep. Um, but he, he, up until midpoint, he was definitely the coach of the year in the Big Ten, what, what he'd done and how they Steve, were playing. Steve Aird, yep. yeah. How, I mean, they were playing great. They were, I mean, we were lucky to get out of there. I think everybody was like relief to get out of playing those guys, you know, get a win out of that. And he, he's, they've been in a lot of five gamers and they got some big wins. Illinois, 10 and 7. They're ahead. I know. Of both uh, Michigan they kind of like came out of Indiana. nowhere. I mean, and they had a horrible start. Start because Jessica Nunji wasn't ready. Right. They, to they went, he went and got her out of mothballs. Yeah, she, she was done. She was she went to South Africa for the summer and for a, for an academic trip and uh, fell back in love with volleyball. I, like, I missed it and said, "Hey, I got another year of eligibility. I'll be a practice player." He's like, "I got something better for you. You yeah. need you to start." Yeah. So yeah. she'd been a two-year starter. Well, they, the they had a freshman middle who you know, had a medical and was out for the year. So um, they were, and you know, I don't know who, you know, if something else happened to another player or whatever, but they really needed her. So she had to get back in shape. And now, you know, now they're humming. They're humming. They're dangerous. They've got, they have a lot of the components. What about Penn State? With Cameron Hanna moving to the right side or the left side, and I don't know why it took so long. Yeah. She moved over the for the Husker match, and they were a different team. Yeah. And then Zoe Weatherington's on the right. I mean, they have all the components. Now you have two great left sides. Weatherington's solid on the right, especially because you can't double block her. you got to focus right. on everyone else. They have two great middles already. you got the, maybe the, one of the best setters in the country. Solid libero who played out of her mind in their, in their win uh, and, and the other day in, um, in their win and their big win. So you, they've over Wisconsin. Yeah. I mean, are they now in the conversation for a national championship? I, I thought they've always have been. I mean, they got they got the talent. There's talent as any team in the country. I mean, they have four all conference players yeah. starting but from really, from all from other schools. No, like, Allie Hollins is from Penn State. Yeah, but all these other guys are an all star team. It's an all star team. Wisconsin and Penn State is all star. They just, yeah. just bring them on it. But they got crushed by Louisville early. You just figured this was it was not going to happen. But, oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what what they're. I don't know why, but. You know, there was a heck, heck of a win against Wisconsin, and, yeah. and we, we snuck out of there by two points. Or three, was it two or three points? I think Penn State's in the conversation. Yeah. You not, and knowing the committee, well, you don't want to look ahead. We have no control over this, I know. But it's the kind of thing the committee would do is make Penn State a nine seed or an eight seed. Yeah. And well, we, don't, we don't want to think about it. We don't. Jamie, we got, we got two more weeks to go, and yeah. we can worry about it. But... Um, I wonder who they play going down the stretch here. We're going to get figured out. you'd have that. We're going to get that figured out. No problem. That's why we have commercials. Meanwhile, uh, this one's brought to you by the Nebraska Department of Transportation. Seat belt use saves lives and prevents injuries. Nearly 15,000 lives saved per year. Buckle up. This message from the NDOT, Highway Safety Office. And maintain your herd's condition throughout the winter with Central Valley Ag's power cow tubs. 
Register to win two 250-pound CVA power cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Warner Basket Volleyball Show, after you hear this. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is bringing you more power, capability, and savings with the full lineup of new Ram trucks during the Black Friday sales event going on all month long. Lease a 2024 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Bighorn for $429 per month. Visit our two convenient metro locations in Blair or Bellevue or online anytime. Lease for 42 months, 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, tax title license extra, $2,500 down plus first payment and $299 dock fee to its signing. Example stock number BC230242. Offer expires 11-30-2023. See dealer for details. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. The only designated R1 research university in Nebraska, UNL's innovations power economic growth, precision ag production, tech breakthroughs, and future leaders in Nebraska. With the highest graduation rates and highest median earnings for recent grads of any public university in Nebraska, UNL is doing big things for our state. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. 
Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Drive with purpose and arrive in style when you purchase your next vehicle at Woodhouse Chevy. With advanced capabilities and safety features, the Chevy lineup puts you in a position to upgrade your ride and keep moving with confidence. Choose from a variety of models equipped with a spacious, detail-focused interior and distinctively modern exterior. Purchasing your next vehicle at Woodhouse Chevy is an easy choice. Shop our current offers and inventory today and find new roads in-store or online with Woodhouse Chevy. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid mineral with protein or Sweet Pro block supplements for space feeding while also stretching your forages up to 25% better, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. Welcome back to your Nebraska Volleyball Show. Michigan State and Northwestern, that's what Penn State faces this weekend at home, Michigan State and Northwestern, and then at Maryland and at Ohio State. Penn State looks like they have a very good chance of going 4-0 and the rest of the way. They're going to get a high single-digit seed, presumably. Here's Todd and Hastings with the head coach, John Cook. Hello, Todd. Hello, guys. How are you? Greetings. Hello. Great. You're on, Todd. Fire away. Todd. Okay. Hello, Bonnie. Welcome. You're on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. All right, here we go. Bonnie, is that you? Hello. You're on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Hello, Bonnie. Uh, yes, it is me. Uh, good evening, Coach Cook. Uh, I just want to say how great the girls have been this year. I've always wondered... Do the girls have a certain routine after games that they can, uh, their muscles, so they don't get sore? Uh, if there's a recovery that the routine that they do, especially like when they played Penn State, the five sets, and then had to go play Rutgers, you know, that Sunday. I've, I've always been curious if there is a recovery routine that you go through. And yep. that's all I have. And, and go Big Red. Okay, thanks. Uh, great question. Uh, yes, there is recovery, and we do recovery a couple ways. First of all, they have some recovery drinks that they drink. Sometimes they drink cherry juice. It is a great recovery to help reduce inflammation. Uh, they have a couple of electrolyte ones, they, like Gatorade and stuff, that they, they could take. So trying to get that replaced. Uh, second thing is they'll ice bath, or they'll do what's called Normatec. And Normatec is a... Uh, pre- if you've had surgery or uh, the Normatec is used in, in helping reduce swelling, uh, you know, uh, in hospitals. And basically we, we have the athletic versions of them where they, they can put cold water, uh, in, they put cold water, ice water in through this thing to make it cold. It, it compresses and then it releases and then it compresses and releases uh, through air pressure. Um, great, great modality for recovery uh, but of course ice baths are great um, so and then uh, usually we'll do massage uh, on Mondays uh, as part of our recovery um, and so yes it's very very important and we really try to uh, get our players to understand how important it is so after road matches you got Norma Tech and cherry juice yep basically yeah and they're on the plane soon thereafter, so they're right. doing that right after the match. They'll, sometimes they'll do it when we get to the hotel, depending on how late it is, or they'll start doing it on the next day. Here's Todd. Sorry about that, Todd and Hastings. Great to have you. You're on the Nebraska hey, Volleyball my, Show. Thank you, guys. And my bad, too. I'm on the flip phone, which is like 1,600 technology, so it is what it is. But uh, Coach Cook, wanted to first uh, congratulate you on the uh, Rembrandt that you're creating. It's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, just a quick comment first. I miss uh, Coach Rose on the sidelines. 
scribbling away in his diary and, and not really paying attention to the game. I, I love that tableau with the little the little book. It was it was really fun to watch. My question is, Coach Cook, you said at the end of the Illinois game that they exposed some things, revealed some deficiencies within your uh, within your defense, and I wondered if you had, you know, obviously I'm sure you attacked it, but did you feel like uh, uh, that you uh, sufficiently shored that stuff up? And were you maybe, in a sense, was that a good thing to see late in the season, seeing this, whatever deficiencies there there were, if that was sort of a nice thing to see at the end, you know, the, the, this part of the season, so that uh, you guys can make it 100% airtight. Anyway, congratulations again, and I will take your answer uh, off the air here with me. Thanks again. Yes. Uh, well, every team we play always is going to expose something. Uh, Illinois did a great job of really, we talked earlier about hitting high off our hands, and we hadn't really seen that. So I know Chris Thomas used to coach for me, and uh, I think he came in knowing that they would have to try to hit off our hands to get kills because we're, we're a pretty good defensive team. So that was one thing that exposed us. We really had a hard time adjusting to that. And like John Baylor said earlier, you know, one way is you drop your hands so they can't hit them. We, and we were actually talking about it in timeouts. Uh, the other thing that exposed us was uh, they were running what we call a red set. We call it, we, we'd call it a red 40. And uh, it was a back set back row to Raina Terry. And we had kind of prepared for it. But we just, she lit us up. And the only thing, the only thing that stopped her was that she went over one time, and I think she hit one out. Otherwise, she killed every ball. So that was just something else that uh, um, we were not very well prepared for. And, you know, I hate it when we're not prepared and, um, and, and don't know how to, I mean, we, we pride ourselves on preparation. And that was something that we... I mean, we'd seen them do it, but we just didn't think it would be a main part of their offense. Boy, they came out running it every chance they could get. Every, every time in rotation six, they set her every ball. So uh, we never, like I said, she kind of stopped herself. But um, other than that, we did a great job on everything else. And then I think the other thing is was their serving was really tough. And um, again, we prepared for that. But again, sometimes when you see it live it, in, a, in a match situation, it's a little harder than what you see in practice. Now, you and the team make successful adjustments all the time in matches. Why was it so tough during a timeout to adjust and stop Rain and Terry from the back? Because we, we never see that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, really, the last player that did that, well, well Jess Mirzak did it at Penn mm -hmm. State. Mm -hmm. And we, we did a pretty good job on her. I, I don't think she, I think she hit like 050 or something on it. But if you remember, Emily Londant, that was no. her play. And last year when she was running a, as an opposite, and they mm -hmm. would set that play. And Tough. It, it lit us up. And if you remember the Ohio State match here at home, Maddie Kubik blocked her in the fifth game at 14-13. To win block, it. We finally got it on, on match point. <laughs> Stuff block one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, it's just you don't see it, and the timing's mm -hmm. different. And if you've got a hitter that can hit it really well, it's... It's an effective play. Here's Shane from the state of Nebraska. Hello, Shane. You're on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Hey, guys. Hey, Shane. Um, thanks for having me. Um, hey, Coach, just got to ask you, on the show a few weeks ago, you asked the students to rush the court, <laughs> and it didn't happen. What was your level of disappointment? I think that was the <laughs> Rutgers team. Uh, I, I always dream about them rushing the court and, and – <laughs> but they're not supposed to, and security keeps them away, and they're well-behaved students. But it would just be fun sometime to have everybody down there celebrating. And, and uh, so it's more of wishful thinking than reality, let's put it that way. And Some, some dreams come true. Yeah, yeah. But uh, our students, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really grateful for the job that they're doing, the support they show us. They show up early. They're great. They're helping us with line calls. We had, a, yep. we had one the other night against Illinois. I'm looking over, and a couple of them were going down like this. Nice. And some of them were shaking their heads. So I'm like, okay, unless if they're all doing it, we're, we're getting the green card out. They should hold up their GPAs. Yeah. High GPA, trust those kids. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll ask them now. Say, hey, I want the high GPA kids sitting <laughs> right in the middle, and Sorry. I'll be looking at you guys. How about the Penn State match where uh, we hit the ball, and it's called out. And then the Husker fans at Penn State are saying it's in. Yeah. You look to them. You pull the green card. Yeah. They're right. You're right. You win the point. Huge two-point swing. Yeah. And the Husker players point at yeah. the Husker fans. And Husker fans hold up heart signs back to them. Oh, really? That oh, was I didn't know touching. That. Yeah. that was like, oh, a bunch of the Husker fans were holding up heart signs really? back at the players. Oh, it wow. was 
It got me a little bit. Yeah. It's a team effort. I mean, it's a statewide yeah, team effort. Even we're, if you're not in a jersey, you can win points. I, how many times have I said that? We need the whole state the of whole Nebraska. State. And we need everybody Friday night. Thanks, Shade. Good stuff. Yeah, that, was, that got me. The, the, the team points at the fans, and the fans hold up hands hard. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, we are all in this. Yeah. You don't need a jersey to win points at Nebraska. Yeah. More Nebraska volleyball show after you hear this. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. Go forward for your next truck or SUV and find an easier way to buy with Woodhouse Ford today. And experience the convenience of buying with Woodhouse Ford. Lease a 2023 Ford Escape Active for $397 per month for 48 months and 7,500 miles per year. First payment and $299 stock fee due at signing. Security deposit waived. Tax title license extra with approved credit. Expires 1204-2023. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe. Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Welcome back to your Nebraska Volleyball Show. Contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free, it's easy. It is the law. 811. And the Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. There's a the head coach, John Cook. My name is John Baylor. The Big Red tomorrow night, 8 p.m. start. Michigan, toughest ticket in town. Have you ever seen this kind of interest level in Nebraska volleyball? I know you get, you've got a, bunch of, a lot of help there that handles a lot of this stuff. But, boy, from my little vantage point, off to the side. I've just never seen anything like it. Folks just want a piece of this. I, well, I'm kind of out of touch with that, but I do remember back in the Coliseum days for some big matches, there was, uh, th th I remember the demand then. It was tight. It was harder to get them then, but I remember people out there scalping and people just trying to get fine, sneak in any way they could. Stephen Bellevue, any chance we play any tournament match at PBA? Negative. Devaney's pretty good home court. Devaney and uh, I think probably, you know, we put in our bid, it would be for Devaney and, you know, PBA's got basketball going. Standing room up top is getting 
two and three deep for some matches. Yeah. Any chance you add three or four more rows all the way to the back wall for next year? Call in on Trev's show. I have no idea. I don't, I don't, I'm not in any of those meetings. I don't know what they're thinking or, you know. You're not focused on architectural opportunities in no, the Vanny right no, now? No, I don't. I never get asked, and I don't, I don't say anything. I just, just go down there and coach our team. Coach, I'm a grown man, almost 40, but that volleyball special on the Big Ten Network had me in tears of joy. Yeah. It was an incredible, incredible uh, um, documentary those guys did. Very powerful, and I, mean, I could go on and on about it, but uh, he, he probably cried when I roped that steer because that was, that was a big moment was right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most emotional. All, all fans of steers. That, that and when Lexi Rodriguez goes, hey, Coach, you, you soaking it all in? <laughs> That was, that was special. Kathy and Burwell, Coach, love your classy new game day shirts. They add an exclamation point to our first class program. What's going on with your fashion sense this year? Lauren, Lauren, my daughter, picks it out, calls nice. Gary Michaels. Gary Michaels makes them. Their, I have a custom fit. They're the most comfortable shirts. I love wearing them because they're, because they're, they're custom made for me. So they, you know, they took you. my measurements and they fit great. And uh, as long as you so, stay out of the weight room. So yeah, so thank you, and uh, that's all, Lauren, and she dresses me. Gary Michaels, locally owned. Yeah, been around forty years. Yeah, gotta love it. Yeah, he's great. And what's cool is, is I'll, I'll run into, I'll see dudes like at High V or something. Mm -hmm. They go, Hey, I got one of the Gary Michaels shirts too. Nice. You know, it's it's really cool. People like. Do they lower their voice when they? Oh yeah. Tell you, yeah okay. Yeah. 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 I, got, I got a Gary Michaels, too. You don't want anyone in the next aisle here. Or this. if I see somebody with, a, like, a Husker shirt like one of those on, I'll say, hey, where'd you get that? They go, Gary Michaels. Here's Jim. Jim, great to have you on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Hi, Coach. Uh, first off, it's great listening to you on this show. I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to uh, share your insight and, and uh, talk with the fans. Um, I'm from the Valley Fire Department, and uh, I just emailed Kate Dean, the amount of money that we brought in from the donations that you uh, gave to us and especially that uh, volleyball that you signed with all of the team it was r really uh, very generous of you guys and, and helped us out quite a bit great uh, and uh, yeah i'd like to comment that i think you got two great recruits hopefully they blend into the team uh, as well as these others have so my question is uh have you ever had a team that uh is as close as what these girls appear to be. I mean, everything you hear about them, they're just all best friends. And just wondered if any other team has been like this before. You know, in the over the last twenty was it twenty three years, twenty three seasons, twenty fourth season, twenty fourth season. There's been a couple that that really stand out. I mean, most teams are close, but there is there are levels of that. And uh, th this is definitely one at the top. And there's been a couple others that were up there as well. That 2008. You just, 2008 was another one. This, this team actually reminds me a lot of 2008. Really? Well, Jordan's around yeah. now, so you're yeah. having the happy Memphis yeah. flood back. But, but here, here's, I'll, just, I'll just put it all this in perspective. So 2000, we went undefeated and won the national championship, okay? They're all still best friends. They all have babies the same weeks. <laughs> you know, they all get together once a year. Mm -hmm. That's when you know, and I always say, when, uh, how close the team is. If they're going to be in each other's weddings someday, that's, you know how they're close. One of those recruits, Skylar Fields. Thanks, Jim. we got about 20 seconds. Any comparison with Harper? Is she in the same neighborhood? She's she's a high flyer wow. and uh, is, is just f filling into her body. And then Olivia Mock is, is going to, people are going to be talking about her. Olivia Mock, gravity's worst enemy. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. All right, thanks, Stevie. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. We take the air at 7 p.m., the Big Red and the Big Blue. Good night, Nebraska. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. 
Don't forget the Trail Tame and 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver, and at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of Active Liver. Active Liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy.